Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. Today we're going to launch a whole new series called Watch Face Showcase. You know, we've showed you quite a few different amazing watch faces that have developers have put together that run on these standalone Android-based smartwatches. And they're um, pretty much similar in that they tell time, usually analog or digital. They may have access to other things like weather or temperature or heart rate or, or steps or battery, but they don't do things like this. You see that? Well, Andrew Davis... is going to kick off our watch face showcase as a developer who created the concept on this watch with this clock engine that won't do this of the pendulum. Right down here, going back and forth. How does he do this? When the clock engine will only allow you to rotate hands at speeds equivalent to the hour or minute or second rate, or faster or slower if you use a rotate command. Remember from our workshops, we have all those codes in there. Clockwise or even counterclockwise if you use a direction command, but there's no code to make something go swinging back and forth. It's just not possible. Unless you can see behind the clock. Let's take a look at his code, first of all, before we reveal the magic. In his code, he does what we're used to seeing with his drawables, and he creates a panel one, which is his background image. And then he's got this little stuff right here. Come back to that. Then he has another panel two. And then he's got his weather array and his temperature array and his, uh, his minute and his hour hand. Those are all right here. You see all of those. And, and the clock face with the wood and the numbers are all part of the basic panel. But this stuff that he's got here, the pinned one and the pinned one underscore one, that is rotating at a rate of three, which is like a, a minute hand, right? Or second hand. And has a multi-rotate factor of nine, so it's going nine times faster than the second head would normally go, and it's going in a direction clockwise and counterclockwise, but there's nothing that says it only goes so far and turns around and goes back the other way. Well, the magic must be in what this image looks like. This, we would presume, is the pendulum sticking down with a little gold thing at the bottom going back and forth. But logic tells us that it's got to be something different than that. So what I've done is I've set this whole thing up with the MobiZen um, mirror application on the computer, and I changed the name of the panel so that when you press and release, that panel image disappears and you can see what's going on behind it. Does it make sense now? The two pendulums are like dumbbells. One of them is rotating around this center point, which is a little bit off to the left and down about 45 pixels, and it's going clockwise. The other one is going counterclockwise. And the mask of the clock over it lets you see only that lower little part down there. Whoops. Got to do this without touching the watch. Only that lower little part, if you get it just right, you see how it looks like it's going back and forth. That is the secret of the pendulum. And Andrew Davis is the first one to do it, and uh, he also has a couple of other ones. You want to see those? All right. Whoops. Here's his same clock reduced in the upper corner there. Can we make that a little bit brighter? Oh, yeah. Okay, you see that? All right. 
I'm going to go and I'm going to remove the cuckoo clock so you can see the pendulum swinging and the code behind it. Okay, paying attention to the swing of the pendulum, we press and hold. When I reload it, it's reloading the whole code, but the cuckoo clock image is not there now, so it won't be able to find it, and it replaces it with nothing. And there you go, the pendulum hands again. Now, we'll be coming back to this again later, because you notice snowflakes falling in the foreground? That's another whole bit of magic. Two really cool pieces of magic that Andrew Davis has built into his Santa watch here. One being the pendulum in the cuckoo clock and the other being this falling snowflakes. But wait, there's more. If you could have a pendulum swinging down, well, could you turn the pendulum upside down and make it shining up like in the Batman skin? Why, of course. Only this one's a little bit more tricky. Um, let's take a look at the code. Simple, short, Batman code. He's got his clock skin panel. He's got his uh, hand second big three. Okay, so it's like a second hand. It's really big, but the key is the three. He's got the basic one and then another one. They're rotating again at the rotate three or the second hand rotation with a multi-rotate factor of slowing it down slightly so you see it's sweeping across the sky one of them's going this way and the other one with a direction of two is going the other way you think we got the same thing like a really big one going this way and another big one going that way not really I tried to make a picture of what the hand second big looks like. And um, pretty much all you can see are the Batman symbols themselves here, here, and here. But what you've actually got, if it would show up, is that um, display, you know, like the searchlight coming up, going down here, here, and here. So there's three of them here, and it's rotating. This one is rotating constantly around like this. Now, see, it's going this way while the other one is going this way, but it's not visible until it comes right to this point where it picks it up. Follow me? And now you're seeing this one going that way, and the invisible part of the other one is going the other way. So he's managed to get this really cool, slow sweeping thing going where these uh, there's actually three of these in two circles, one going clockwise, one going counterclockwise. Let's um, take away the foreground images so you can just see these rotating pendulums, if you will. Okay, there's two layers that we have to deal with here. We took, we'll take the first one off, which is like an, a mask overlay by pressing and holding. Again, I've eliminated that image in the overall file, so by reloading it, you can see down here in Gotham City that little masking section is gone, and you can start to see the essence of an arc here where the searchlight is kind of going across that arc, and then the other one is coming in. Now, if it's a big circle, it's like way off the whole screen. And the whole thing is going to be about this big, centered down here, so that it's shining only in that upper quadrant. All right, let's take off the complete background image. i got to go to the computer and do that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, we're all set. Press and hold. We've eliminated the mask, and now we eliminate the whole picture. And there other than the time display that's still on the screen, there is what the search light looks like. Now, without scaling it or moving it, you really don't see that there's actually three pieces here. But there's the one here, one off that way, and one off that way, in such a way that when one of them is off of the screen, the other one doesn't catch it until it comes the other way. 
He did it in thirds to take advantage of that angle width of the watch. Really ingenious. If it was in quadrants, like on the pendulum, you'd be limited in how far you could swing before the other one would come into view. But by doing it in thirds, he's able to pick it up. And it's okay on this one if they kind of overlap because that's what you'd expect in Batman is there's a couple of searchlights up in the sky calling him. And so it's okay to see two of them crossing a little bit with each other. That's expected. Wouldn't work if this were a pendulum, right? Then it would be obvious that something bizarre is going on here and you don't have just one thing swinging back and forth. Creative license using the rotation command that's normally reserved for hands of a watch to use with image elements to create something absolutely different. Many thanks to Andrew Davis. This is just a little bit of what he's doing for us. You're going to see a lot more from this guy. And um, I tell you, sometimes I go to bed wondering, how the heck did he do that? I got to get back up and print out his code and try to study it to understand it. You'll see what I mean in some of the future editions of Watch Face Showcase. Thanks for watching.